You could motivate your kids to clean their room by giving them a score from 1 to 10. And let's say if their room is cleaner than 5 or equal to 5, you would give them a Wi-Fi password. If their room is really dirty, so less than 5, then you would display a message to clean your room. This is a really simple if function that I will explain at the end again. And for now, I would love to show you mouse pointers and what they mean in Excel. So first, a block plus sign. When you see this sign, it means you can highlight a cell or a range of cells. So if I want to point to Zoe is the first one who granted Wi-Fi, I just highlighted Zoe. If I want to highlight all their names and point to the edge of this range, hold down the control key, drag and drop it so what you could copy a range like that. So the block plus sign is really just to select a cell or a range of cells. The next symbol is the double headed arrow. As you can see that after first name in this column, I don't see the last name. Maybe I don't want to show their last name, but if I go point between B and C, between the two column headings, there's a line. If you place your mouse pointer on that line and you double click, you can auto fit that column. So you can also click and drag to make it wider. The two double headed arrows, when you place it to the edge of a cell, that you can move or copy that cell or arrange. So we are looking for two double headed arrows. So I'm going to highlight this entire range here. I'm going to point to the edge and you will see two double headed arrows. And then I could click and move this range if I would want to. I'm going to undo this. So the next one is a down pointing arrow. A down pointing arrow over a column heading, let's say room status. If I right click here, I could delete this entire column or I could insert a column next to it. So a down pointing arrow like this will let you highlight an entire column or even a range of columns. Same with the right pointing arrow, but that is for the row headings. So you can highlight row headings with the right pointing arrow when you point to, let's say, row 14. So point over the number 14, you will see a right pointing arrow, and then you can highlight the row. The next mouse pointer is a fill handle. A fill handle is a crosshair. So when I go here and there's a reward that I can give to the kids if they clean their room, not just Wi-Fi, but let's give them some money. So when I point over the lower right hand corner of the cell, there's a black square here. If I point over it, I see a fill handle or a crosshair. If I double click, I'm going to copy down the function that's in here. Or what you can do is, let me undo this. You can simply point, click and drag. So left click and drag down and that would fill down. So that's a really important, important mouse pointer. So that was, uh, that was the fill handle. Now the next one, oh, there's a dragon. We have to discuss the dragon later. But for now, if you see a split line with two arrows, so a split line, two lines with two arrows, it means that the column is hidden. So if somebody is hiding a column, why would you hide a column? Let's say I want to hide the kid's last name. And I'm going to say, okay, so hide that. When I point between A and C, I will see this double line 
with two arrows indicating that there's a hidden column. Now if I double click, it'll unhide the column. That was the last mouse pointer. And one more, the dragon. Well, if your mouse pointer is a dragon, change your password on your computer because probably your kids got to it and they installed a dragon mouse pointer and you never know what they're going to do next. So I want to explain this if function in more detail in the next video. But basically what's happening is I'm looking at C2, which is the room status. And I decided if that's greater than or equal to five, they will be granted Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi granted, and I will display that message. Otherwise, a message will be displayed, clean your room. You can also create a function where you reward them with $10. Let's just see the money here. So $10 if they clean their room. So instead of, um, instead of displaying a message, you give them money. So this says if C2, which is the room status, is less than or equal to five, then you are not going to get any money. So if it's more than that, then you'll get $10. And there's only two people here that will deserve the $10. That's Zoe and Jaden. So this is my video about mouse pointers. And it's really important to learn what happens when you point to an object or move around in the Excel worksheet. And you're going to see that your mouse pointer will turn different shapes. And depending on those shapes, you can do different functions with your mouse. Like I said, I will explain the if function in more detail in the next video. I hope you like my mouse pointers and descriptions, and I hope you will try each one. So again, the block plus sign, double-headed arrow, the two double-headed arrows, down-pointing arrow, right arrow, this is the fill handle, and this is a split line with the two arrows, and of course there is a dragon. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a like. In the comment section, I left out at least one mouse pointer. So in the comment section below, type what you think that mouse pointer is, and I will see you in the next video.